हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डील विथ वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट फॉर जूनियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस कंसेप्ट ऑफ मिक्सड फ्रैक्शंस इज अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट वन वेन इट कम्स टू टीचिंग थर्ड फोर्थ ग्रेड स्टूडेंट्स हियर द टीचर्स एंड द पेरेंट्स फील डिफिकल्टी बिकॉज दिस कंसेप्ट इज little bit complex and involves little bit of knowledge abstract thinking also now first of all we need to understand the two types of fractions we all know that fractions are basically numbers which are in the form of p by q that is they have a numerator and a denominator so the fractions are broadly class- classified into two parts one type of fractions are proper fractions and the other are improper fractions these proper fractions have the numerator p less than q so we have say 1 upon 3 numerator is less than the denominator 5 upon 9 7 upon 11 and so on. now these are some of the examples of improper fractions you can enumerate any number of examples simultaneously if the numerator is greater than the denominator then we call it an improper fraction for example say 4 upon 3 7 upon 2 9 upon 7 and so on so these are examples of proper and improper fractions proper fractions cannot be further simplified and there is no mixed fraction for a proper fraction because it in itself is a fraction proper fraction only the improper fractions in which the numerator is greater than the denominator can be expressed as a mixed fraction so now let us study how we can teach children whether a particular fraction can be expressed as a mixed fraction or not the simple rule for this is that it has to be an improper fraction in which the numerator is greater than the denominator now coming to the conversion let us take the example of 4 by 3 since the numerator is greater than the denominator it is an improper fraction so we can convert it into a mixed fraction for converting into a mixed fraction we just need to count the table of 3 up to this number 4 so 3 ones are 3 but if we carry forward the table of 3 then 3 to the 6 will exceed 4 so we need to stop at 3 ones are 3 so 3 ones are 3 so that one is to be retained and then we can just subtract these two numbers 4 minus 3 is 1 and in the denominator the same denominator will reoccur so this is the way in which we convert a uh, improper fraction into a mixed fraction say one more example so we have 7 upon 5 5 ones are 5 5 2 to the 10 5 to the 10 is more than 7 so we have to stop at 5 ones are 5 so 1 7 minus 5 2 denominator 5 now let us take some more examples Say we have eight upon three. Now here we observe that in this case, three ones are three was less than four, but three two the six was more than four. Similar case, five ones are five was less than seven, five two the ten was more than seven. 
now in this case it is little bit different so if you count the table of 3 3 1s are 3 is less than 8 3 2s are 6 is again less than 8 but 3 3s are 9 is more than 8 so we stop at 3 2s are 6 3 2s are 6 so when we have written 3 into 2 is 6 we retain this in the answer and then 8 minus 6 gives us 2 and the denominator remains the same. So 2, 2 by 3 is the mixed fraction of 8 upon 3. One more example. Say we have 17 upon 5. Now count the table of 5. 5 3s are 15 is less than 17 but 5 4s are 20 is more than 17. So 5 3s are 15. So we retain 3. And now 17 minus 15 is 2 and denominator remains the same. So 3 2 by 5 is the mixed fraction of 17 upon 5. Likewise, if you teach small children 10, 15 examples of how this conversion is done, I think they can convert mixed fractions into proper and proper, uh, sorry, improper and improper into mixed fractions very easily. Now let us do some operations on mixed fractions. How we can teach children to get the exact accurate right answer when we add or subtract mixed fractions or when we have to express the result as a mixed fraction. Say we have the one, uh, one more example here. Now suppose we have to add 7 and 4 by 3 and we are asked to express the result as a mixed fraction. So in this case 7 plus, now see 4 by 3 is improper fraction. So we need to convert it into a mixed fraction just like this. So 3 1s are 3, we retain 1, then 4 minus 3, 1 and denominator is same. Now this becomes 7 plus 1 plus 1 by 3. We can separate these two and put a plus sign in between. It is one and the same. So 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 1 by 3. And just now I told you that if we can remove this plus sign, then it becomes a mixed fraction. So 8 1 by 3 is the final result which is expressed in the form of a mixed fraction. Similar things can be done when we are subtracting the numbers. Say we have to subtract 11 and 2 by 7. Now when we subtract 11 and 2 by 7, 2 by 7 is already a proper fraction. So we don't need to convert it. Now what we do is we can split this 11 as 10 plus 1. We can remove 1. Whatever number is there here, we can remove 1. 1 minus 2 by 7. 10 plus. Now we can calculate this 1 minus 2 by 7. Just subtract 7 minus 2, 5. And the denominator is 7. So the final answer 10 5 by 7. Just two steps and we can arrive at the mixed fraction result of addition and subtraction. Now let us take one more example in which we have to add or subtract two or three mixed fractions. So let us take one example. Say we have 4 3 by 7 plus 5 4 by 7. Now in this case also you see these two 3 by 7 and 4 by 7 they are already proper fractions so no more operations just get on with the work 4 plus 3 by 7 plus 5 plus 4 by 7. So 4 plus 5 becomes 9 
and since we have the same denominator just add the numerators 4 plus 3 7 upon we have 7 in both fractions so in the answer also we will have 7 so this is 9 plus 7 upon 7 is 1 so 10 is your result likewise you can carry on with many practice questions and teach small children how mixed fractions can be understood in a better way. So I will take one final example. Say we have 9, I will take some big example now in which there are large quantities. Say 9, 4 by 9 plus say we have 21, 7 by 9. I am taking the denominator as same so that we can learn the method minus 11 3 by no we cannot have 3 because 3 is a factor of 9 so we will have 2 2 by 9 now see just split 9 plus 4 by 9 we have plus 21 plus 7 by 9 we have minus when we have minus then both the terms will be negative 11 minus 2 by 9 Add the numbers 9 plus 21 is 30, 30 minus 11 is 19. We have denominators as same, so just add the numerators 4 plus 7, 11 minus 2, 9. So 19 plus 1, 20 is the answer. We don't need to convert the mixed fractions into proper or improper fractions. Just split the mixed fraction into two parts by putting a plus sign in between. Then all the natural numbers obtained are to be added separately and all the fractions obtained are to be added separately and the two results can be written together to obtain the answer either in natural number form or in mixed fraction form. So students, parents, and teachers. These are the small things we need to take care of when we teach a particular concept to the children for the first time. And mixed fraction is considered a difficult concept. So be careful to present this topic in a better way and give them a lot of practice questions so that they can learn this and solve higher problems easily if you like the video share it subscribe the channel and keep learning